Graduation regalia is hard. No matter how hard you try, things just don't turn out right. If only there was some way to make preparing your graduation regalia easy. So hello everybody. My job here today is to make your graduation a better experience. And that's because I'm here to teach you what is possibly the hardest thing since first semester's exams how to wear your graduation regalia for the graduation itself. So first we start with this. This thing is a TAM. And you're wondering, wow, I've never seen one of those. Well, that's probably because you're used to the idea of the mortarboard, right? Well, the TAM is way cooler. So how does this work? Well, here's the easy part, right? You put it on your head like this. Now, for you, the tassel that comes with it, well, one, it won't be gold, it'll be purple, but it actually goes on this side. This is the right side of what is your little top peak here, right? Mine is on the left side. That's because I graduated. Um, and now it's permanently affixed on this model, but it'll be over here and you'll keep it here until such a time as you actually have been directed by the president of the university to move it over and then you can move it over to this side and pretty much proceed normally from there. So one thing I should mention about the TAM is that when you get your graduation regalia, the first thing you should do is actually try the TAM on. Usually when you rent a TAM, it comes shipped with newspaper of some sort stuck in the hat band here. That's in case the TAM tends to be too big and you can use the newspaper in there to help make it fit. Uh, if you've got a gargantuan head like I do, um, you may find that you'll need to take the paper out so that it will fit on your head. And if your hair is especially big, you may need to figure out if you want to bobby pin it in place or do something to make sure that it does not fall off. In extreme situations, it is possible to take a scissors and cut the back half, cut a little notch in the back half so that the tam can, can fit. But I would save that as kind of a last resort because you're gonna wanna return these and they might get upset. Um, so, generally speaking, don't leave it till the last second to see how your TAM fits and ways in which we can uh, make sure that it actually does fit you. So this is your hood, and it really is the most confusing piece of graduation regalia. So, how do we deal with this? Well, the good news is if you do it once and you get it correct the first time, you never need actually uh, take it off of where you're carrying it, right? So you don't actually wear this as part of your starter graduation regalia, right? You carry it and then it is put on you uh, by members of the faculty when you go through the graduation line, right? It's the hooding ceremony. Um, so when you get it, it should look something like this. If it doesn't look something like this, if you notice, we have a velvet, the purple, purple velvet here, and you wanna make sure that that is complete along one side, right? It looks like a kite when we're doing this, right? Okay, get it so that it looks like this, where the velvet is on the outside. The inside is actually for the Washburn hoods is there should be the blue. The blue stays on the inside. It's the thing that's gonna be shown when the hood actually gets put on and fluffed up. But for you guys right now, you wanna keep it this way, right? Okay, then you take it and you're gonna do it, you're going to loop it and you're gonna loop it over your right arm because that is the way we go in for the hooding and so you want to make sure that the hood itself is in the arm that is presented 
to the person who will be doing the hooding so they can just grab it, flip it, and whoosh, you'll be hooded in pretty much no time. So how do we do that? Well, as I say, we take it here, right? We got the, got the velvet. So the thing you're gonna wanna do is the velvet is going to your elbow. So you want the velvet to your elbow and you want the point facing forward, right? So that's velvet to the elbow, point forward. And if you do that correctly, you can just carry it like this all the way up until you're hooding, right? And then, so velvet to the elbow, point forward, you can't go wrong. And then when you walk in graduation, you'll have it like this. You can just present it, they can grab it, and they can hood you from there. Um, on the day of, I'll come check it, make sure everybody's got this, but velvet to the elbow, point forward. Um, the one other thing about this is that your hood may have a button right here with a corresponding cord. You wanna make sure that is unbuttoned because if you button it, then it will not actually fit over your head and you may end up in the unenviable position of being strangled by it on stage as they try and get it over your head. So make sure that your little cord here, see the cord here? Make sure the cord is not connected to the button. Uh, once you have been hooded and you are safely back in your seat uh, for the ceremony, you can have a friend clip that around you. But uh, for the most part, just leave everything unbuttoned, right? So start here, velvet to the elbow, point forward, get it so that it's about even in size and you are ready to march.